Hi guys and welcome back to another Premier League video. Now last round, the predictions, I only got one correct, but it was the biggest match of the weekend. Man City drawing 2 all with Liverpool. So out of all the games, I was glad that I managed to predict that one. All eyes were on that game and it didn't disappoint. It was very entertaining and it was a title decider. They didn't decide anything in the end because points were shared and it just means that we get to, you know, keep going with this whole title race. If Man City had won, you'd sort of think that they had a big advantage. If it was a draw, it's the tightest it can be. And if Liverpool won, that they're, you know, two points ahead. But the draw ends up being a very entertaining game and leaves everything still wide in the open, which is always good. And it just means we can enjoy the rest of the, the season as well. Before we get into the analysis, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Premier League content. Let's get into the predictions. And starting off with Spurs taking on Brighton. Now Spurs, they've won four in a row, won six out of seven, and scored 25 goals in those seven games. Son scored a hat-trick in their last game. They are on fire at the moment. And attackingly, they cannot stop putting the ball in the back of the net. They're coming up against a Brighton side that hadn't won in seven, losing six of those. But then they beat Arsenal 2-1, which did Tottenham quite a big favour in the race for a Champions League spot. And... Tottenham now are in a very good position, they're in brilliant form and it looks like they're going to take that fourth spot which, you know, I wouldn't have said that a few weeks ago but Arsenal have had a little little bit of a downturn in form, Spurs have been smashing the goals in, winning the majority of their games and fair play to them for that. For this, I'm going to stick with the trend of Spurs scoring a lot of goals and winning so I'm going to go Spurs to win. 3-1. Next up, Man United take on Norwich. And Man United haven't been doing too well. Won one out of their last five. And they lost their last game 1-0 against Everton. Terrible result from Man United. And I really don't know where they go from here. At the end of the season, Ranić won't be in the job. Probably get promoted to some sort of backroom staff level. And we're expecting someone to come through the door. But for the rest of this season, I just don't really know how to predict them. Norwich, unbeaten in two, drew with Brighton before winning 2-0 against Burnley in a massive, massive game for both sides. And it keeps Norwich in it. They're hanging on. And I think they're going to get a result here because Man United look... They just look a bit lost. And... Norwich are putting up a fight. So I'm going to go one all. Next up, Southampton take on Arsenal. And Southampton, not so long back, were in brilliant form, top half of the table, and they just look very solid, hard to beat. They've lost four out of their last five, and they lost their last game 6-0 to Chelsea. Absolutely blown away. And Southampton seem to be this side that go through stages in a season. But they can be a bit random. But they will always have a, a really good run of form. Which sort of gets them enough points to stay in the league. And they'll also have a very bad run of form where everyone beats them. It's, it's really odd. that It's never just an odd loss here and there. It always comes in like big stages. They're playing against an Arsenal side that have only won one out of their last three matches, which isn't something you'd normally associate with this Arsenal side. They've been very good. And they lost their last game 2-1 to Brighton. However, with Southampton's poor form at the moment, I'm going to go Arsenal to win 2-1. Two, two promoted sides take on each other now, and they're both in very, very different veins of form. Watford take on Brentford. Watford lost four out of their last five 
and they lost a massive clash against Leeds. It was so important that they won it. They were at home. They lost it 3-0. They can't defend. They look gone. They're playing against Brentford, who have won four out of five. That includes their last two wins over Chelsea 4-1 and West Ham 2-0. So Brentford, brilliant form. Since all their players have came back from injury, they've sort of carried on where they left off. Brentford are a very, very, you know, solid team at Premier League level already, it looks like. Thomas Frank is doing a brilliant job. All the players seem to want to play for each other rather than, you know, a few individuals, which is always good to see. And they've been brilliant this season. And I think they're going to win here. Brentford to win 2-0. Newcastle take on Leicester next. And Newcastle won one nil against Wolves after three losses in a row. Leicester unbeaten in three and they're into the top ten after beating Crystal Palace 2-1. And Leicester are starting to pick it up now. They've just got through to the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League as well. So it's all starting to come together towards the end of the season. They have got some games in hand on Wolves, actually. Nine points behind them with three games in hand. Leicester, you know, we I was thinking that they were going to sort of be best of the rest from ninth and below. But if they go on a good run of form now, they could potentially break into that top eight. I'm going to go Leicester to win 2-1. And finally, West Ham take on Burnley. Now, West Ham, they lost 2-0 against Brentford in their last match. But they're through to the Europa League semi-finals, which is a massive result for them. They beat Leon 3-0 in the second leg, which, you know, Leon are a good side. And just beat them away like that, fair play to West Ham. They really are a good side when they're on their game. Burnley aren't so good at the moment, lost 5 out of 6, and lost a massive game, 2-0 against Norwich last weekend, and it was, it was weird, because they'd just beaten Everton, and then if they beat Norwich, they catch up to Everton, but they lose it, Everton beat Man United, and the gap's the same as before Burnley beat Everton, so they've sort of got to do it all again, and they really needed to win that game against Norwich. Norwich looked dead and buried. And now Norwich might have a bit of hope. For this, I just see Burnley not having enough for this West Ham side. So I'm going to go low scoring. West Ham win 1-0. Now there are some more fixtures in this game week. Four fixtures. But they're all going to be played at a later date. So I'm just going to give my score predictions now. Man City to beat Wolves 1-0, Liverpool to beat Villa 1-0, Chelsea to beat Leeds 3-2 and Everton and Palace to draw one all. So, those are my predictions for these upcoming Premier League fixtures. Let me know down in the comments what your predictions are. Please like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Premier League content.